So recently, Taylor Otwell, the creator of Laravel, put out a tweet with a poll in it asking whether Laravel's default test runner should be PHP unit, which it's been up till now, or PEST, which is a new testing framework. A lot of people who know about PEST know that it offers a brand new syntax that you can use in your test, which is very cool and very helpful, but maybe not everybody wants to choose to use it, or not everybody has time to learn it. But what I wanted to point out is the fact that you can use PEST as your test runner for PHP unit style classes which means you have the opportunity to get the benefits that come from PEST, or at least some of them, without actually having to change to use the new syntax if you're not ready. Or you can bring PEST on, get those benefits for your PHP unit style classes, and slowly migrate tests or only write new tests than the new syntax if you want. So I wanted to show you really quickly the benefits of using PEST as a test runner, even if you're sticking with PHP unit style classes. So before we talk about anything else, I want to talk about a lot of the value that PEST as a test runner provides has already actually been given to all Laravel users who use modern Laravel because Nuno took a lot of the code from PEST and backported it into something called Collision, which is a tool that is brought in by default when you run PHP Artisan Test. So some of these features that traditionally required you to pull in PEST manually, now you get for free. A lot of the actual features that PEST provides on top of PHP unit, you're getting even if you have not explicitly brought in the PEST package. So let's take a look at those. The first one is going to be the fact that test output is more beautiful. The next one is that you have three flags that you can pass in. You can pass in dash dash coverage, dash dash parallel, and dash dash profile. So let's take a look at each of those. So here I have a stock Laravel app. I created it using Laravel new, and I chose the PHP unit option, not the PEST option. And this is to show that even while I'm not specifically using PEST, some of these PEST features have been backported into Laravel through collision. So we get access to these even if we've not explicitly brought in PEST as our test runner. So if I were to run PHP unit, this is me running stock PHP unit without actually using these PEST goodies that we've gotten for free. And everything looks fine. We got our two dots for our two passing tests. However, if I run PHP artisan test, we're now going to see these PEST provided features that have been backported into the rest of Laravel. And look how much nicer this is. We've got those little pass. We got the checks. We also have the names of the tests that are running. These all come from PEST. Similarly, if we have anything go wrong, let's say we got an exception there on line 15. If we run PHP unit, now we get relatively useful information. We've got the name of the test right here, the exception, the stack trace. But let's look at that same thing with our PEST provided beautiful output. Oops. Let's try that again. Now look at that. We've got these big failed issues here, right here. We got the X, and we're even seeing in line what error through that with the surrounding code. So much more helpful. So this is a PEST feature, but if you're using Laravel using PHP Artisan Test, you're actually getting this feature built on top of your PHP unit for free without having to run Composer Require PEST PHP slash PEST. Now remember, there are three more features that we get for free from PEST even without manually bringing PEST in. And there are these three flags, Profile, Parallel, and Coverage. So let's start with Profile. If I were to run PHP Artisan Test dash dash Profile, it's going to look at how long each of my tests... Oh, well, I have to fix that error first, so let's do that. If I run PHP Artisan Test Profile... We can now see my top 10 slowest tests. So we've got speed profiling here, and this will allow us to identify which of our tests are taking the most time and dig into those. Our next one is dash dash parallel. If I run PHP Artisan test dash dash parallel, you'll see it's going to prompt me to install a dependency, which is paratest. Now you can configure paratest to run your tests in parallel on a PHP unit app, but it takes more configuration than it does here, where all I have to do is just require that. So let's require it really quickly. Oops, my bad, should do dash dash dev. Now we run it again. And now our tests have run in parallel. Last one is dash dash coverage. So again, if we run PHPR as a test dash dash coverage, it's going to prompt us to install something. We need to install xdebugger, pcov. I'm not going to deal with those right now because I don't really like code coverage <laughs> testing. But if you're the sort of person who wants code coverage testing, you can know that it's significantly easier to set up and configure when you're dealing with these PEST features that have been backported in via collision than it is if you're dealing with stock PHP unit. The second section of this video is going to be about things that you actually get if you bring in PEST. And this is primarily focused on people who are sticking with the PHP unit class style. 
If you bring in Pest and switch to their syntax style, there's a whole bunch of additional features like architecture testing and a uh, different way of doing data providing, stuff like that. They're all wonderful things, but you actually have to switch to their syntax and there's tons of wonderful videos out there that already cover that. I encourage you to check it out. I think it's a great syntax. I think there's a lot of really cool features in there, but this video is mainly about the benefits that are provided from Pest to people who stick with the old school syntax. So that's what I'm gonna focus on here. So there are two main benefits that are going to come in if you switch to using PEST as your primary test runner on top of what you've already gotten because there's PEST features available to everybody who uses PHP Artisan Test. And those are the Expectations API and Type Coverage. I'll actually start with Type Coverage because personally, it's not my thing, but the Expectation API absolutely is. In order to use PEST's Type Coverage feature, we'll have to install a plugin. So we just compose or require it. And now we can run our tests with type coverage. And interestingly, type coverage doesn't actually run the test. That actually just is a analysis of its own that checks the type coverage of all of the code in our code base. This is a brand new Laravel install. So it's not checking any of my code. It's just checking the code that Laravel has by default. But you can see it's going to show us any times that it's not getting the type coverage that it wants. So if you're really interested in giving 100% type coverage, you can use this tool for that. Like I said, not my thing. On the other hand, the Expectations API is very interesting. I can't go into great detail, but I want to show you really quickly what it looks like to use it. All right, so we have a test here. If I want to use the Expectations API, what I can do is say something like expect, you know, string. Of course, you'd be passing a variable in here or the response from something. But you can say stuff like to be string. So what Expectations API allows us to do is to have this more fluent syntax for building out our assertions instead of one line after another, after another, after another, saying this assert equals, this assert true, this assert type, all that kind of stuff. You can check out the documentation for other ways you can do it, but they will do certain, they'll do fun things like, you know, result equals sum one, two, and then expect result to be int or something like that expect result to be three. And here's a quick screenshot of some of the other assertions you can run, including the fact that you can use not in front of them to actually go for the opposite of an expectation. Again, take a look at the docs for some examples of how powerful this API is. So that's it. Few examples of ways that you're already getting the benefit of PEST because PEST has contributed work back into PHP Artisan Test on all Laravel apps, and a few benefits you'd get from switching over to PEST as your default test runner, even if you stick with the PHP unit class syntax. Again, there's tons of videos out there showing all the great things you can get from switching to the PEST syntax, but I understand that not everybody wants to do that or is ready to do that. But there's one last note I want to make. You can also switch to PEST as your runner get these few benefits we're talking about here on your PHP unit class syntax, and also create new tests in the PEST syntax and have both PHP unit class syntax tests and PEST syntax tests running alongside in the same code base. So whatever it is, I hope this is helpful for you and you enjoy your testing more and more every day. See you later.